What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and today we are on our way over to Tiny Adventures RC for their second annual swap meet. So we're driving over there right now and uh, I will get back with you guys once we are there. See you guys in a bit. And we are here everybody. I don't want to be looking too rough. Showed up just in time for the uh, tug of war. Nice breeze. So Jay Mitch got his roving out. Yeah, nobody's ready to line and up. And nobody you, wants to line Mitch. up with Jack. You be bringing these monster trucks out here. <laughs> Everybody intimidated. I mean, guys, look at the size of that thing. And who's next? Anybody next? We have um, Michael's waiting for his controller. We have James. Okay, we got Darren. Dwayne, the X-Brand, I'm going to keep saying X-Brand, X-Brand, I want to go ahead and um, tell you about his handle, X-Brand 84, X-Brand 845, I should do it, so we're going to be, uh, again, like I said, we're here at Swap okay. Meet, we're going to be so we're walking do around and, and seeing what is so. all available, yeah. so we got the um, here. one we thing that I did see all. that so kind of, kind of intrigued me is, that guy right of, there. Um, well, I'll shine you. Let I have been wanting to get one for a while, but <laughs> I, I haven't. I haven't. So I might talk to him and see what he wants for that thing. All right. So had a little complications. I ended up bringing my daughter out. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Got my daughter out here with me today, and. We are now watching the tug of war. Twenty five dollar gift card on the line. That thing didn't go anywhere. Didn't even move an inch backwards. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, so we are gonna be walking around and seeing what is all available out here. Uh, got a couple helicopters out here. Anybody looking for a nitro engine? We got two more lined up for a tug of war, but I'm just switching it up because the next one was going to be boat racing, but no one has a boat because we were going to go back there to that beautiful lake and we were Lake's going all to the way back there. go boat racing, but oh, wow. um, oh, if you don't have a boat, or you want to go buy one in time to get you. Yeah. I end up noticing because I end up coming up uh, Oxford. Oh, what's the name of that lake? Oh. <laughs> So, they we're going to have boat racing. If you guys can see all the way out there, there's a lake. And they were going to do some boat racing, but nobody got a boat. So, they're just going to uh, jump forward to the, um, to the drag racing. And they're just going to go from there. Oh, this guy's got a, lots of things out here. Check out what he's got. Axial SCX 10 2. Got a SCX 10 2. Got a whole bunch of servos. My local hobby shop, I go down there and you know, ask for whatever tractor they always have it. So, we're going to be going, walking around for a little bit until. They go to start the. They go to start the drag racing. All right, so they're going to start the drag racing now, and we are going to go uh, and look at the drag race. So check this out. They also drew out right here an on-road course. 
what y'all think? I don't know. Which that looks pretty make nice. A decision. I need to go into the I of course didn't bring anything with me today because again, I got my little one out here eating a popsicle. You done with the popsicle? Yeah. <laughs> so I got my little one out here with me today. And uh just enjoying everything. So we're gonna be I'm gonna walk around and talk to a couple guys out here that got some stuff for sale because I'm looking for some things. I have to get a new ESC for my I have to get a new ESC for my uh Evo rally car because that thing flipped and it was my fault i didn't secure it down so i'm gonna go look around when she comes back from going inside the store they're gonna start the drag racing and we will be back at that all right so they're gonna start with the uh drag racing and yeah yeah i did i did i picked up something i'll show you guys later so here we go. Start off with the drag racing. Set, go. Woo! I think. Wow. Is that? Um, it's Wait, what is that? Is that the Ford Fiesta? Yeah. All right, so they all lined up already. Got Jay, Mitch over there on the right. Go check him out on his channel. All right. Get set, go. God dang! Whoa, Brian was in the lead. Woo! Hey, Here we go, they're getting ready for another run. Yes, sir. Had to help a fellow guy out. <laughs> Had to help him out. Flips over. I'm the closest one. Because as you guys can see, they're starting all the way back there. And the end is literally right here. It's a lot closer than what it looks like on a camera. But here is the full trip and I am down here at the end he's brave he's very brave I wouldn't be standing there but he's brave <laughs> That thing's crazy fast. Don't worry, I'm not the real hostess. I'm just double right now. She'll be back eventually. So I did pick something up. And, um... <laughs> um been wanting to get one of these things for a while. I mean, it's not exactly the one I wanted to get. This thing is like a classic, really. And, um... It's not really the one I wanted to get, but I I saw it. I had to get it. Um, so I'll show you guys later on in the video what I ended up picking up. So let's get back to the drag racing. Get ready. All right, get we're going to go set. again. Go. Oh. All right, so now they're going to be lining up more cars. If you can see that guy right there, he's got that car that's in front of his foot right there. 
He just accelerated. A whole bunch of smoke just came out of his car. And it wasn't motor burning. And there goes the cone. So unfortunately, I did not bring anything out today, uh, especially for the drag race. I don't have anything that is near this fast. So <laughs> at least not yet. Um, I don't have anything near this fast, so I didn't even bring anything. But they're going to be running again, and we will see what they got going. Liana. Over here. On your marks. Stay there. All right, everybody. So there we have it. Um, Tiny Adventures RC second annual swap meet. Did not want to miss that. So much so that I even brought my daughter out with me. Uh, so I unfortunately didn't get as much content as I would have liked to have gotten of the um, of the swap meet but I had my daughter with me I had fun and uh, we both had fun doing this and again big shout out to Tiny Adventures RC for having this uh, event for a lot of us RC hobbyists to be able to go out there, have some fun, meet some great people, and just have fun with everybody. You know what I mean? It's like I've always said, this hobby is great. It is a family hobby, okay? <laughs> it's what it is. I mean, get your family together, get a couple RC cars, and just go out and have fun. Um, doesn't have to but just be street. Uh, like on road, off road, it could be anything mixed in, um, and that's great. But I still have something to show you guys. Okay, I still got something to show you guys. What I got. So I'm going. I'm driving home right now. Of course, with my daughter. We're driving home, and uh, when I get home get everything all situated and I will show you guys what I ended up getting at the show at the swap meet and I'll let you know how much I got for it so we will be back stay tuned we will be right back all right and we are back uh, I just got home and I want to show you guys what I ended up picking up at the swap meet. Um, when I show you guys, I'll well, after I show you guys, I'll let you know how much I paid for it. So here we go. Here we are. Just picked this guy up at the swap meet, and this thing's big. <laughs> this thing is a big. Right, so I got this thing at the swap meet for 50 bucks, five, zero, 50 bucks at the swap meet. And I've always wanted to get something like this, uh, not this exact one per se, but I've always wanted to get a motorcycle, RC motorcycle. So um, 
this guy was selling it for 50 bucks. I'm like, hey, why not? Uh, the only problem is that this thing was a Radio Shack. Let me flip it this way. So it's a Radio Shack Honda CR250R motorcycle featuring Ricky Carmichael. So I haven't even really looked this thing over yet. Um, one thing I did notice, the thing's got some weight to it. One thing I did notice about it, which I'll show you guys, is this thing has an actual belt. <laughs> Driven on an actual belt. The pulley right in there. It's got the suspension in the back. This thing is just awesome looking. Of course, this guy moves all the way. Woo! So will he move when this thing is riding? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, here it is, the front turning. The suspension on it on the front is a little hard. I might have to oil them up or something. Um, ESC and everything. This guy's head doesn't turn. Um, I asked the guy what was wrong with it. He said nothing. He just doesn't have the room to play with it. Um, the only thing about this is that I don't see anywhere on here that actually says Radio Shack on it. Uh, my guess is that he probably had this. I don't know. Um, but I don't see anywhere on here that says Radio Shack. So it's more, this looks more like a hobby grade than it does a toy grade. You guys can see that the, um, servo horn is right there there's a servo horn focus there you go there's a servo horn there's the on off switch and it looks like it's the alloy chassis of course that's how old it is it's got tamiya plugs on it um i think i have a lipo that has tamiya plugs on it but I know I got batteries that do have Tamiya plugs on it my guess is the battery is going in right in here oh what does that say that does say Radio Shack right there all right so I was wrong um so the battery pack is going to go down under here the tires look to be pretty good uh again like I said this guy said that he did not use this thing much just for the main fact that he didn't use it much just for the main fact that, you know, he doesn't have enough room. Uh, the park that, trailer park that he lives in, he said he didn't have much room. And apparently this thing needs a lot of room to be able to make some turns. So what I'm going to wind up doing, wait, what I'm going to wind up doing is um, before I end up cleaning it up, because I'm literally, I think I'm just going to leave this thing at, on the shelf. Um shelf queen um what i'm going to wind up doing with it is actually just clean it up put it on the shelf but before that i do want to run it and see how this thing runs so the battery on the controller goes right in here somehow <laughs> but i gotta figure it out I don't know if that presses in. I don't want to break it. I'll end up figuring that out. And once I do. But there you go. I got this whole piece. No batteries, which I'm fine with. I can I got batteries or I can get batteries for it. 50 bucks. I said heck, why not? I mean, just to start off with the uh motorcycle RCs. Um, why not? How is this thing gonna ride? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure, but we shall see. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, huge shout out to Tiny Adventures RC for having the swap meet. And uh, I apologize that I didn't get a lot enough content. Uh, I tried to get content out there, but. You know, with having my little one with me, I, uh, <laughs> sorry guys, 
she's more important so i have to watch out for her so guys again thank you for watching if you enjoy the video please hit that like button subscribe for more content and i'll see you guys in another video you guys all have a good one